Have you ever marvelled at three-dimensional embroidery pieces like this one and wished you could make your own? Well today I'm going to demystify the whole process by showing you exactly how I made this little guy and how you can make your own with nothing more than the supplies you already have as an embroiderer plus some inexpensive wire that's readily available on Amazon. Hi, my name's Max, aka Scarlet, and I run stitchgothka.com, the home of weird and dark embroidery patterns. And for a long time, I admired stump work, and I stared at the exotic petals and wings and the beautiful designs that people were creating. But I shied away from making my own because I didn't really know where to start. I didn't know any of the techniques, and I didn't know if there were any special materials involved. But one day, after staring at some particularly breathtaking pieces on Instagram, I decided that's it. I am going to figure this out and I'm going to give it a go. So I scoured the internet, I researched all of the methods and I got busy experimenting. And I discovered that it's actually not that different to normal embroidery. And the techniques for creating these wired slips actually seriously easy and really enjoyable. So let's start by taking a look at how the padded body is made. Rows of six stranded stitches are used to build up height, followed by an outline of split stitch. This gives us a decent amount of height to stitch over. The stripes are then simply sat and stitched over the top. Now for the fun part, the wings. For these, you need some 0.3 millimetre wire. This stuff is used for jewellery, beading and various other crafts. You can get it in various colours online for a few dollars or pounds. It's super easy to bend to the shape of your wings and then you just stitch it in place with a stitch called couching stitch. Once you have it where you want it, it's time to cover your wire and attach it to the fabric permanently using buttonhole stitch. Now we just need to embroider the wing itself, starting with a row of split stitch around the edge so we don't get any gaps. And then we just fill in the wings with long and short satin stitch in the way you'd normally embroider something. Once we're done, we just need to cut out our wide slips. Use a sharp pair of scissors to trim around the edge. And go back in afterwards to neaten the edge if you've got any stray threads. Then it's a case of making a hole in your fabric using a large blunt needle and then pushing your wide slips through to the back. Once you have the wing in place, you need to secure the wire down at the back using couching stitch again. And this is just me doing a quick and dirty tidy up so I can display it. Now, if that was all a bit fast for you, I have put together a cheat sheet for you covering all of these steps, which you can get via the link in the description. So scroll down to this video description with a link to the cheat sheet. Now, I'm also going to send you an important list of must do's to ensure you have success with your wire slips. Stuff like, you must double layer your main embroidery fabric before you start, and why. But I haven't finished that yet, so make sure you give me the best email to reach you on, so you don't miss it. Don't worry, I don't share your email with anyone, and there's always an unsubscribe button in all of my emails. I have full respect for people's personal details. So scroll down to the video description, click the link, and come on over to my website to grab your cheat sheet. And you know what? Let's continue this on my website. I've got something really big I want to show you. So come on over and see what I've got in store for you.